Hello, this is Chris Menard. Someone asked me if they do a mail merge in Microsoft Word and there are blank rows or blank lines, how do they show them? So here's my example. I have an Excel file that has my data source. So if you notice column B through column H has the information for an address block. Notice that column E though, I did this intentionally, I only put in a couple address twos. So I should have end up with a total of 35 letters or whatever the mail merge is. And I do want to show the blanks. So I'm going to close Excel. Microsoft Word, when you do a mail merge, by default suppresses blank lines. So if I go to mailings, I'll do letters to keep this simple. Go find that Excel file. Edit recipient list just to show you this. You don't have to do this step right here, but I'm still showing you address two is blank. So here we go. Let's prove that by default, blank lines get suppressed. I'm just going to put in an address block. I don't care which one. I'm going to hit OK. <clears throat> Mailings tab, preview results, person one, record two, record three and four. I'm going to go back to record two. So that unit or suite number is getting suppressed. So if you want to show the blanks though, I'm going to get rid of this. And by the way, if you want a more detailed, how to do I do a mail merge? I've done it for letters envelopes, uh, labels, the links are all down below in my uh, description. So here we go. Don't use address block. Insert merge field. First name, space, last name, enter. I know I want address one. Here's the trick. Instead of pressing enter, I'm going to do shift enter. I'm going to put in address 2, now back to enter. Finish this off with the city, state, zip. Preview results. I'm on record number 3 up here in the right. You can see that there's a blank there. There's record 2, record 1, and I'm just going now forward. And it looks like it's working. The last thing to do, you don't have to do this, I would highlight this. And I would probably make my paragraph spacing zero before and after. Let's see if that looks any better. There you go. So after address one was shift enter in Microsoft Word, that will allow you to show the blanks. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep the questions coming. Have a great weekend. Thank you.